Okay, so today I've got to carry on on the render graph. Um, so far I have a good chunk of items kind of moved over, transitioned to it, but there's a few key items that I still want to move over. For example, right now, uh, presenta presenting images is still outside. It's not handled. What I'm doing is I'm taking the image the swap chain images that would be presented. I'm just kind of uh, passing them in through, not here, not here, here. I pass it in and then I just kind of export the image back out at, at the end of the thing. And then I use the, the um, semaphore to figure out when to actually present. I want to kind of make a, a presenta image presentation image. And then similarly, I want to do the same thing for the XR. Uh, not necessarily the XR end frame bit, but like probably not the acquire swap chain image. That will have to be done outside, but like the, the waiting for the swap chain image and then eventually the really swap chain image. Those are items I can create jobs for as part of the render graph. And as part of that, I'm going to have to start branching out <clears throat> of the one resource type that I have. Because I believe the only type I have right now is the rent, is the imported image. That's not going to be able to. That's not going to be usable forever. So I need to start uh, branching out from that. So <clears throat> first, I need to create a new uh, resource type, which I'm just going to. I'm going to work on pre on the presentations presenting the swap chain image first. So I got to do I got to I need a uh, swap type that's going to handle that render graph swap chain image. I'm going to, have to pass some bits of data in for that. Now I'm not sure what exactly I need. I'm going to need several things. I need. I need the swap chain, the index, and probably probably the image as well from somewhere. So I need the image. I'll probably need the, the view. I need yeah, I need the format and stuff. When I Jar. Current, the image index, the in index of the image in the swap chain that I'm using because that will be used for the presentation. Okay, and the part where I'm passing the image in here, the image, the view, the format, the extent, that, that, okay. I don't really need is mutable because of course it'll be mutable, right? Yeah. So let's see if I can get that in here. Um, let's see if I can copy some of this stuff from here. Okay, I need two parts. Right now, I still need to be able to import. Eventually, I'm gonna have to, I, I'm gonna change it so that I can not necessarily have to declare it up front. But I'm not quite there yet. I don't think I'm there yet. Maybe I'll always have it. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> the render graph resource. Um, I 
I guess. We'll just kind of do it that way. So I get the render graph. Uh, is there a fence for this? Maybe. Name of the job. Resource name. And we got the beacon image. The layout of whatever it is. Is that important? Mm, I don't know. But we do have a semaphore. Which is to say when the set, when the image is ready. Oh, and I need to kind of put this up a bit higher. KHR. Index. I'm not sure what happened there. We're going to have that, then we're going to have a later an image or a job like this, which is, is there anything that's passed out? No. Okay. Is there any real way to do a fence on this? I mean, it doesn't have... There's no fence on this. But we can make it work. Somehow. It'll be like... Much like uh, when I import an image... Because there may be more than one weight. No. There's just no fence. No fence on this. No fence. If you want to fence up, you can fence up at the job prior to it. Since this, this just takes in a... Uh, this will be the swap chain. That's the image being presented. That's kind of it. I think so. Much like this. Oh, uh, I'll need to add I may have to do some transitions are still externalized. I need to add that. Um, change from manually specified layout transitions. Okay, <clears throat> those are the two jobs. We'll add this to here. So render graph Maybe before that.
include that. Let's move it over. We got that. Moving back to the render graph. Resources. Okay. I need to figure out a better way to deal with this still. I really do. Okay, we'll kind of copy along mostly what's going on in here. So we will present image. There it is. Okay. Execute equals this. We have these things. We'll never wait on anything, but we will signal, even if we don't know what they are yet. Okay, we have all that. Is that the right? Yeah, that is the third. Wait, these should be the first. index that save so that should come through there we go so with the new swap chain image and then we're going to be p provider equals p job This is going to be the part of the fun part of, hey, you know, I need to add more types. Render graph dot swap chain and use will in place this at least.
Okay. Uh, for this, how okay? How am I going to deal with resources? Because as it stands right now. I don't really want to do, I don't really want to use C++ inheritance. It always becomes a bit of a mess. Okay, for the moment, like, I, I don't know how to deal with it quite yet. and I, But I do know I don't want to use C++ inheritance right now. I may decide to use it later. I don't want to use it right now. So I'm just going to have like a, you know, is swap. Uh, just a second thing. P resource to. Uh, we're going to go back to the point where we import the image and it's going to be. That. Okay. So going back to this, we have ones we want to do for that. Mm -hmm. I need to wait for that seven four. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. I don't even need that. I just need like a VK pipeline stage flag. Whatever this is. equals that. And then we can submit info. Just copy paste this. Except rather than that, we know that this is going to be a one. This is we have we're just waiting on this. Uh that's probably not going to work. So I need to Say like we're waiting on that. We have the weight mask and um, signal seven four is what we're doing. Okay, great. We're gonna do this. Get some broken stuff. Okay, I'm not really sure if I actually like this because now I'm kind of stuck of in a place where I have to kind of check both, don't I? Like source image dot p resource or
I basically kind of have to do this. I need to do this. Uh, source is fine. It's destination. We're blitting or we're resolving. Two and two. Okay. We're not going to necessarily use export image. Oof. Well, actually, no, we don't even touch the image, really, right? Yeah. Okay, so for currently, going back to the application, let's change out that one piece. So we have this. Get out of here. Got the render graph. Import the presentation image. There's no fence type whatsoever. Oh no, there's actually, no, that's just for that one. So then we'll have the swap chain, which is index then we go through okay we we have, we have the image we have the view we have the format we have the extent Let's grab these and then we'll have the VK sub four. Which is this. Need to add the header. Build much faster, please. Okay. Uh, let's see how, um, let me turn off XR in case it is on from last time. It's not great. Let's see how badly this is going. Yeah, broke right off the bat. Sweet. So. UI pass job, right. I'm using a different image. Um, okay, now we can do that, right? OK. 
kind of, yeah, yeah. Nope, still breaking. Great, okay, so we got UI pass job. I must have done something incorrect. I'm going to imagine it's to do with, let's say, after I resolve the image, What's going on? Like, what's the output resource? The output resource is if I consume the resource in the render graph somewhere. It's just doing that. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay currently. So the second part of this would be actually going through the presentation of all this stuff. Okay. Present image. Grab this. Go to here. Okay, we're just presenting a swap chain image right now. That's it, because we've we're already handling like blitz and resolves outside in UI. So I'm operating under the assumption that I'm just doing this minute part right here. So I don't need any boilerplate for getting in generating command buffers, I just need this basically. So, Okay, maybe not. Um, equals that. Okay, great. And then we're going to have... I don't really need this. I just kind of need this. That. We're waiting on... It's not that. It's the wait semaphores dot data this is a one u p 
key swap chain resource swap chain index okay we'll have a result so just pass it through to be presented then we kind of got to go make sure and first of all at this we'll have to kind of do I not have an error code here not really Otherwise, we've got to go through basically the same thing, but we're checking present results. Okay, then hmm. I still need to do a couple of things. I need to say, hey, this thing has been exported or consumed, I should say. have to change the image type um, hmm. okay take that out for the moment we assume that it is in layout that layout need to say that this is an output job. going to be running this There's no frame complete for this. 
Uh, I'm going to have to move the frame complete to be like just before to this one instead. Uh, we're using this. This is what we're giving uh, through. Anything else? Just the three. All right. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, what we got going on here? Is waiting on P semaphores that has no way to be signaled. All the elements of a P wait semaphore member of present info must reference the symbol. Ah, it's not been uh, given before, has it? Which is a bit strange, but okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, right. So I've got the swap chain. Ooh, hold on. I know what's going on. The render graph. This No, this is to do with relationships. This has nothing to do with this. So it should actually, no, so it should have the, uh, presentation, the, uh, semaphore information available. I remember there, I thought it was like, you know, there's no semaphore available, but it should, right? This, um, there's one semaphore, yeah. Okay. Is this not, uh, we have one UI job. Let me see what's going on. Okay, I know that if I uh, do this one again. Oh, no, 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 hold on. That's my problem. I'm running the other code as well right after. Which isn't going to fly. Okay, okay. Oh. 
Okay, it's either here or here. There's something else I'm missing that I would have set around here. What is this? IT swap chain present data. Okay, hold on. This looks a bit spooky. What did this do? What there's some there is some logic that's going on in here that I just do not recall. Okay. What am I doing here? I'm just resetting it. Okay. So this, is, this is the thing I need to I need to call right now I'm calling this to reset the swap chain object mm -hmm. okay I'm just gonna kind of call it here blindly because I don't actually need this data anymore not like this Okay. Okay. So this stuff is gone. This stuff, this is gone. Down about 450 lines total here. I mean, much larger in the grand scheme of things. But this is an abstraction there. I'm kind of thinking I really do need. So now I need to figure out how to do this for XR. I have, it's effectively what I have is the XR release swap chain image and. Where is it? Where's the weight? There's a there's a, like a weight bit round around here somewhere. Here it is. I acquired the swap chain image, then I actually have to wait on it like a fair for like a fence almost. Now this is kind of something I'm really not sure how I'm supposed to deal with. Because I'm really... OK, 
Okay. Because uh, I can't... I don't want to have to wait for this before I submit everything. Obviously, that's going to be a terrible idea. I want... Like, if I've acquired the swap chain image, then, then that does mean, like, I do have an idea as to the time that it's supposed to be the predicted display time. So I want to get as much stuff as I can done up to the point where I'm waiting for the swap chain image. Then I do that. Then anything that was waiting on that gets completed. Mm, this is good. This is a head. This is a absolute headache. Plus, I'm going to have to um, yeah I don't like it I do not like it at all I need a third uh, resource type on the render graph so from imported image to swap chain image to I'd also need like XR swap chain image so I actually do need to figure out how to how to deal with with different resource types. I need to figure it out right now. Hmm. All right. 47 minutes, time for a quick drink and a think. Okay. So, uh, yes, render graphs. This is the fun thing. Image, image view, format, extent. Layout, I don't really need to know the initial layout. Do I? Not here, I don't think. I can get, okay, one thing I can do is I can get rid of that. Find all the locations where it was used. Eliminate, eliminate it. So here, like that. Okay. I need a an initial. I don't know. Something that says, I, so I need to kind of follow something along the same, similar lines as to what um, Vulkan or XR does, I, I believe. So I'm going to need like render graph base, something like that. It's going to have like an S, like a, almost like a structure type. I'll need like an enum, which is like, you know, these. Resource structure type, let's say image is the base, right? That's what we're rolling around with here. That's a bit wordy, but that's how I'll stick with it for now. <clears throat> and then we have like a void star, which goes to P next. You know, great, whatever. And then we have this, the render graph imported image type, which is, you know, I don't actually need that specifically, do I? image. Of course we have the S type one with P next. That's great. Uh, 
But then we'll also have some of these other four items. Maybe that. I don't know if I want to have that as well. Here. I'll have it here for the moment anyways. Probably is mutable as well. So that would actually entirely take care of this. Simple enough. Then I need... Okay, this is obviously going to go through a couple of iterations. Uh, swap chain. Image. So what will happen is this will be the core of the items, and then I'll have a P next, which goes to this, which won't have these items. So this will be the base. This will be the quick thing to like access immediately that this is an image type. Then you convert that into this, and then we have a similar thing going on down here, which is like that. So we go P next, we go into this, and we say, hey, this is a swap chain type. Here's the swap chain, this is the index, you're done. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So, we will have to go through a number of items. We've got that, so it's not this anymore, it's the base type, resource. Um, no, I can't do render graph resource base. I'll just, yeah, I'll just call it that for a moment. It's that. Congratulations. There. Uh, render graph, really, that goes to the base. That's great. Um... I'm not entirely sure how to delete things yet, or even if. Right now, everything is still imported. And... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to, instead of doing something like that, I've got a standard vector of things I want to delete. Um, so I need like a delete function that takes in an object. I need two pointers. I need a dual pointer. Delete data call, something like this, which will have, first of all, Delete resource data call. Which will take in that, which will take in a that. Delete function. And then
something like that. And we'll have a selection of these. What I want to do then is on this, we go through these instead and it's um, call data and it's just going to be like you know call data dot delete function delete call data dot p resource that's it we're just doing that over and over and over again this will be set and added um, at the point where we're creating the resources okay okay so To begin with, source image. Source image is just brought in like that, yeah, okay. So what's going to have to be is Is it a pointer? No, I'd actually have to specify it. I need to specify that it's this. Something like that. Source. Equals like source image dot p resource data. I need a reinterpret cast for this. And we need to do the same thing down here. Okay. Do the same thing for the destination image. Okay, uh, that's something I need to do as well as Type uh, resource type checks. Let's add that as a task. Okay. Copy this. Do it to resolve image. Failure will probably be like on the import image. Mm -hmm. Good. 
as expected. So we need this. This is a new, this is by itself, right? I don't actually need anything else. Name. Okay, I need, first of all, That, that image view extent is mutable. Great. You say this equals reinterpret cast. of the base type so we don't have that anymore but we what we will have is dot resource cleanup calls dot place back this is going to be outside right about here that okay great dot delete function equals and we're gonna have what's gonna happen we're just gonna delete What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's the type that we created. Ooh, I'm not entirely so sure on this anymore. I mean, I like the idea. I have, like, this is still, okay, this is still a draft. I'm going to, I'm going to justify it that way. It's still a draft. I can refine it later. I will refine it later. This is some spooky stuff. Okay, next. Uh, export image, perhaps? Are we doing anything here? Not really, we're just consuming the resource, that's fine. Render graph uh, with the P resource bit. <sighs> Render graph relationship requires the use of this one anymore present image yeah so, hmm. this is a bit more interesting. I need either style altogether value. So what I'm going to do is P resource image 
where the star p image equals this, which includes dot s type equals. Actually, no, this will have to be first. So it's not going to be that, it's going to be this is going to be looking at of this. Okay. Equals that, great. No pointer. This is going to equal that. Well, P next is going to equal swap chain image. Then we grab these. Dot is mutable equals true. Okay, I've got those things. And then later. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to like merge these to like, I can just put this in one single allocation to instead of two smaller allocations. But for the moment, I'm just doing this. Um, and the graph dot source cleanup calls. We need a cleanup call for this. goes here. This goes away. Uh, this needs to be a reinterpret of that. So what I want to do is I need to say, hey, this is or sorry p swap chain another reinterpret cast p image p next this i don't want to say swap chain image it's just whatever Okay, and then what I want to do is delete the swap chain, the image, and then I'm clean. I need to add that. I'm already adding that here. Add the job, return, great. There's something else down here, isn't there? Yes, it is not that. This is great. Right, I only I only need the swap chain. So
OK. It's probably something that UI pass is going to fail from the same from a similar thing. So this is going to be an image type. render scene what's going on here uh-huh okay do that once twice do do do, do. Okay, let's see how badly this is going to blow apart. Uh, it didn't actually at all. It worked. First try. Nice. It's spooky, but there you go. <clears throat> So now I can go back to the thing that instigated this, which was I needed to add the third type for XR stuff. XR, so, so that's a um, VK swap chain. So I need like VK. Place those with VK swap chain, and then I need a new type render graph uh, XR swap chain. So that's VK swap chain. So we'll have a new one. These are still early days. What am I? Um, hmm. That and that I need. What do I need for the XR swap chain? It's just just the swap chain by itself, really. When I acquire information, I literally just. Oh, there it is, the new index, okay. Down here, I'm using it to grab image information, okay. But when I'm releasing the swap chain, I don't actually need it. Okay. It's the XR swap chain. Um, I'll include mm -hmm. All right, let's grab this. Let's see what I have for present image. I need to import swap chain image. Hmm. 
VK, there's no VK fence, not with this. Oh man, I'm not sure how to exactly wait on. Like, there's no actual. I'm just creating an. There's no job associated with this whatsoever. Just. This is XR swap chain. There's an index. There's some. Okay, I need the VK stuff though. I need the image, the view, the format, the extent, and there's no weight sum for in this case. There's a weight job. I'm not sure how to put the weight job in yet, though. Hmm. Whatever. Um. I'll we'll have another thing, which is release. XR swap chain. We add that. Great. And we begin. There's no job. There's no initiating job yet. I just don't really know how to. Okay, fine. I'll just import the job. I'll just input the resource and I'll present it, but I won't figure out how, I don't know how to wait. I need to add. Let's just kind of leave that there for the moment. So in this case, it's very much like importing the presentation image. We're going to have two different bits. It's not the job, but here, down here, yeah. Oh yeah, this is that. I don't even have an index, right? No, I don't even need that. That's all I need. So it's an XR swap chain, great. Then I need the second part, which is the this stuff.
There's no provider. Hmm. I'm gonna have to have a. Sp I'm gonna have to deal with that case now. If there's actually no case, if there's no provider, it just, it just is. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna. I, I am gonna need that, wouldn't I? Might for resources that I just made up at the beginning of a. Yeah, at the beginning of a render graph, those resources start. You know, start off that way. They don't actually aren't provided by anything. Hmm. Interpret cast that. jobs just return the resource Yeah, okay. This will just move the swap chain releasing around. So this will be at the end of that. If I can find the application not the header there you are this is what I'm just looking this is all I'm looking for is just this so just kind of put that out there for the moment Get all this. I'm sorry, where is the error code coming from? Yeah, this is really... Okay, whoops.
Um, I need to interpret the resource correctly as well. So I need the XR swap chain here. I know it's that, so we just do p swap chain, swap chain. I need to include. I uh, how do I interpret those? That's a good question. I have it somewhere. UK error code. Okay, this. Lovely. I need to actually add it to be compiled. Right, and I need to actually add it to the thing. to actually see if it actually works. So that is not the one I'm looking for, neither is that. Is this XR? This is XR. Okay, uh, where do I add it? Render scene. There we go. Exo swap chain image resource. I need to change that out for this. Turn the graph. no null no handle. There is the swap chain. So it's I don't re I don't actually need the index. So goodbye to that. I need the image uh, and the format. Great. Anything else? No. Okay, just doing this, does this work? Uh, actually, hold on a second while I actually uh, turn on my headset. 
so I can actually test this. Okay, that had, that's the home. Great. Let me enable XR and let's go. Let's see if I can get it to show up. It'll be in this corner, right? No, not at all. Ha ha. Terrible. This is probably from the fact that, right, it's a, the job, right? The job is a null pointer. Just continue. Okay, we do that. I need to make sure that when I execute, and the semaphore is not equal, no pointer. Yeah, yeah. Some of them will, yeah, yeah. That Okay, so that's still covered. Let's try this again. It's gonna happen? No, it's not gonna happen. Why? About 45 minutes. Unable to read file. Uh, okay. Sorry. That's cool and all, but um, okay. Why is this thing dying? If I go back to not doing XR, it's fine, right? Okay, uh, BRB getting a quick drink. Okay, okay. So, re enabling this and let's see what the hell's going on, really. Like, why? Okay, yeah, it's just... Okay, let me... It's executing on this one, right? Yeah, okay. So we go inside to this. We're submitting to this queue, great. We've got the submit info, which is this stuff. We're resolving. Is this? Is there like there's a null pointer weight semaphore? That's that's why. Okay, where did we get this? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up to here. Okay, stop.
Okay. So it's probably just the fact that I can't actually put something in if it's a null handle thing. I kind of had it correct there, but not here. Okay, yeah, that's correct. That's looking correct. I mean, this isn't looking correct, but... Ah. Okay. We got those. Now let's see if I can replace the... <clears throat> this job right here. Do, 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 do. that tell me tell me tell me tell me great perfect nice not so nice but hey it does exit out correctly right No, it doesn't, but whatever. Get rid of that. Okay. Um, solve projection views. I had that beforehand, so that's fine. Okay. That's good enough for now, for today. That, that'll be nearly two hours worth of stuff. So, all right. It's so a lot more of it's done. I still have to really, really have a hard think as like how to integrate XR swap chain wait, waiting for the swap chain image, but Otherwise, like the render graph is really shaping up, and I got a number of items, tasks I to clean this up, to refine it as well. But I think now that I've actually kind of got all these, everything except for the X, the swap, with the weight swap chain image, I have enough knowledge and domain knowledge to actually come up with a, a an acceptable refined solution for the render graph, and all its associated parts. So until then, cheers.